Hey Micah, how did the name Bigfoot come about? What's the story about that one? Uh, well, the word Bigfoot uh, actually got applied to these, uh, to these mystery primates um, in 1958. Um, <clears throat> there was a, a, a construction crew, excuse me, working on uh, extending a road through the Trinity Alps. And uh, they would uh, work all day long with their big, heavy uh, earth-moving equipment, you know, trying to cut this pathway over the mountain. And then at the end of the day, they'd uh, park the tractors, and then they'd head on down the hill on their Jeeps and what have you, and they'd head home. And, uh, and then the next morning, they'd come back to work, and they'd find all these tracks in the, uh, in the nice, fresh dirt that had been kicked up. And they started talking about the visitor that would come in the middle of the night and leave the tracks, and they'd point to the tracks and say, oh look, Bigfoot was here again last night. And uh, they experienced uh, a little bit of vandalism, and, and uh, these things were picking up 55-gallon uh, oil drums and heaving them off of uh, embankments and uh, taking huge uh, tractor tires that it would take you know several men to even move. and picking these up and throwing them over uh, the edge of cliffs and, and uh, this kind of a thing and there were tracks all over in the fresh dirt. So uh, <clears throat> a man named Jerry Crew um, spoke to another man uh, named Bob Titmus who was a taxidermist and a man who had had his own Bigfoot sighting back in the 50s, uh, in the mid 50s and as a result uh, wasn't skeptical and he would follow up on Bigfoot reports and so he was very knowledgeable especially in uh, how to uh, cast tracks and plaster. So he told Jerry Crew, this particular uh, member of the uh, Caterpillar team, how he might go about uh, casting the track. And so he, he did that, and uh, he took the cast to the Humboldt Times newspaper, and they printed a copy of, the, uh, of him with the track, and uh, the headline said, uh, New Sasquatch Found Called Bigfoot. So. In its inception, the word Bigfoot uh, would, would have to have a capital B because it represented a particular Bigfoot or a particular Sasquatch or mystery primate, if you will, uh, with, the, with the moniker Bigfoot, which was based on the tracks that were left in the dirt. Uh, now, in, in, in current usage, the word Bigfoot has been applied to represent the animal itself. And a lot of people in the Bigfoot community find that to be kind of degrading that it would have a name like that because it's kind of a silly term. Uh, obviously not all Bigfoot are going to have especially big feet. Some probably have little feet, especially if they're smaller. And it, it, it's not the greatest of terms. And a lot of the community believes that it should be called Sasquatch, which is a, a more respectable way to, uh, uh, to name it. But uh, that's how the word Bigfoot got applied. And of course, when people started doing a little research, they discovered that there was an Indian chief named Bigfoot who had uh, uh, wrecked havoc with the cavalry and had been uh, at the Wounded Knee Massacre. And you can uh, look it up online and you'll find references to Bigfoot, the, uh, the Native American who was killed at Wounded Knee. Uh, so th there's been this connection with the, uh, with the uh, 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 indigenous people since day one on this Bigfoot thing.